Hey everybody, so this is the second part of the tutorial or the demo for ZBrush. We're focusing on ZBrush. <clears throat> In this case, I already launched it. I don't want this video to go as long as the other one. Uh, that one is a bit long. Uh, you know, it, it didn't take that long to launch. I already brought in the truck. Uh, I split it up into sub-tools already, and some of these I've already divided. Um, I'll divide one so you can see the performance on that, but I wanted you to get a feel for the size of the scene that I have. Now, I haven't really tested this, so I don't know where the cap is, but right now I have four sub-tools divided at between four and ten million polys between the sub-tools, and so the entire scene appears to be coming in at... 34,292,178 polys, which I think is pretty solid. <clears throat> I know there's probably some people who get into much higher poly count than that, but, uh, you know, I, I still think it's pretty respectable. So, uh, let me let me go ahead and just jump right in here to the, we'll use this little window bit. Um, these poly, all these sub-tools are ginormous. I, like I said, I was just prepping this to get this ready. Um, I didn't really have it ready per se. So let's see here. Let me just goof around a bit here. Now this is at this sub tool is at ten million nine hundred and forty-four thousand five hundred and twelve polys. So I'm not real sure what the performance is. That's pretty high um, for this. Uh, I do want to save a morph target so we can try out the morph brush on it too. Make sure I've done that. Okay. Get a little better viewing angle. Alright. So you can see it took just a minute to like really start up. But on 10 million polys, that's still pretty solid. once it started to wake up to it. That's just the standard brush. Um, let's see here. Clay brush, pretty fancy. Again, like the other video, I would not be taking any modeling tips from this. I'm not, the smooth brush would be crap, but it'd be crap no matter what, just because it's, you know, it's still, I mean, it's still working, but, but, you know, it slows down, at least for me, as I go up in polys. Let's see here. I'm just trying to do this pretty quickly here. Now I'm trying to undo an operation. Now I think this is where you'll start to feel it a bit. Um, not as bad as what I actually thought it would be. Alright, so again, this is on 10 million polys. Uh, let's try the brush, the morph brush. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to blast through this so you don't fall asleep and it doesn't take forever to get up on YouTube. Uh, so... So there you go. So far, pretty impressive, I would say, for the modeling side of this. Um, I would try Shadow Box, but I don't ever use Shadow Box, so I'm going to skip that little bit. I would imagine um, it's going to be about the same kind of thing. I will, however, go into Projection Master real quick. And so we can take a look at that. I'm not going to do poly painting because I don't ever, I don't, it's not that I don't ever, I, I haven't, uh, I haven't messed with poly painting in this, and I'm not going to start now. <clears throat> so maybe that's me saying I really don't ever use poly painting much in this. Let's see here. A decent alpha. There we go, this one's got some good depth to it and crisp details. Oops.
so kind of getting the point here. All right, so there we go, Projection Master. Go ahead and pick this up, see how long it takes. I'll try this once, it didn't take very long. We'll see now, there's more information in there. We'll see what happens. Looks like that's good to go. Rotate it a bit. Yeah, so it's moving pretty pretty smooth considering, you know, it's at 10,944,000 polys right now. I would say that I'm pretty impressed with that myself. So yeah, okay, so we get the point here, like, uh, it does alright. I will add some noise, just so you can see that. Apply it to the mesh. Still kind of cranking on that. All right. So yeah. Uh, let's see how. Let's go down a couple steps on the geometry here and see what happens. I think this will probably take a bit of time. Not too bad. Nice and ugly. So yeah, it's pretty snappy. Okay, and then we'll go try brush the morph brush one more time. This one seems to take a bit of time to start kicking in. Get the alpha bit on that. There we go. All right. So now I want to hide everything. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Okay. Just thinking about it. All right. So there you go. Again, this scene is sitting at 34 million polys, or roughly 34,292,000 polys. And in my, I, I kind, I definitely consider this still workable. Um, yeah, there's definitely some lag here and there, but considering what you're doing this on, um, I, I have no problems with this. But then again, I guess I should say that considering I bought it. Sorry, I don't have all the cool matte cap shaders that are on the forums loaded. Still still trying to get everything kind of uh, moved over. But you get the point. This 
so I can't really think of anything else really to show right now. Um, let's see here, is this in perspective? Fake perspective. <clears throat> Now I'm just being dumb. Anyway, I hope this is helpful. Again, uh, I'm pretty happy with it in general. Uh, not that it doesn't have its issues. Um, it, it, it did take a while to save the file uh, at this size. It took around a minute and a half. Um, sometimes undoing on the, on the larger sub-tool divisions, like the 10 million plus, you'd have to think about it for a while too. Um, a while being, I don't know, maybe between five, ten seconds, maybe. I didn't really time it. <clears throat> I hope this is helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, again, you can personal message me, or I guess leave a comment on the YouTube video. Uh, you can personal message me at snoops3d on the polycount forums, and uh, I check those more often. And I hope this is helpful. All right, you guys have a good night.